Hey YouTube, Waterfowler 2012, thanks for clicking on the video. Stick around, some unboxing of some stuff that I got with an Amazon gift card over the holiday season. Thanks. Okay guys, this is uh, some, uh, just an unboxing video really of some stuff I got over the holidays uh, with a gift card from uh, Amazon. So the first thing is uh, When All Hell Breaks Loose from Cody Lundin. I read his first book, uh, 98.6 Degrees, uh, The Art of Keeping Your Ass Alive, and I did enjoy that book. Um, so I heard a lot of good things and a lot of good reviews about this book. So I'm looking to be in, uh, um, jump into this and start reading it. And uh, I like the way that he has the little diagrams and it's kind of a easy read. A uh, couple little color photos here in the middle, uh, but mainly black and white. And, uh, you know, it's a real easy read. I know the first book was, so I'm sure this will be the same. So I look forward to getting into this. And I think that uh, having some kind of a skill level is your best prep, of course, and knowledge. So anything that you can retain from books like this will certainly uh, be of value uh, if a disaster ever does strike. And then you can also have the book as a reference. So uh, that's one of the things I picked up. <clears throat> the other thing I was looking for for my bug out bag was a mess kit. And I, I can't remember if I had an old mess kit because if I did, I couldn't find it. Uh, and if I did, the other one I had I know was aluminum. So I picked up a stainless steel one, and I picked up this one from uh, Stan Sport. And um, it's, I don't know, I haven't used it, so I don't know how it's going to cook, but it comes in this little mesh bag here. Um, <clears throat> mesh bag is not the most quality bag in the world, um, but I was looking for something stainless steel. And this has like a copper bottom for, uh, uh, I guess, dispersing of heat. And it's got this nice little plate top cover deal and then uh, of course another little pot here and that pot's got a handle on it as well with the lid so being stainless steel I don't know I'm thinking it might be a little better investment I know when I uh, cooked either pancakes or eggs over the fire the last time I used an aluminum mess kit it was uh, the cleanup was pretty uh, pretty bad it was, everything kind of stuck to it so I don't know if the stainless steel will be any better if you guys have any uh, exper experience with uh, stainless steel mess kits uh, I, you know I wasn't going to try to spend a hundred dollars on a mess kit I was looking for something uh, economical that you know I thought would be half decent so I came across this one so hopefully when I get to use it I can do a review on it but um, and to see how the cleanup goes but I know a lot of you guys have probably have a, a lot of experience with different mess kits out there and I'd be curious to see if there's any quality difference between the stainless steel and the aluminum. Um, so let me know in the comments section, that'd be great. Uh, a knife that I had on my wish list and uh, heard a lot of good things about this knife. This is the Ontario Rat 1 and um, I... Uh, when I was out in Oklahoma, I took this knife with me, and I actually did clean a goose with this knife, um, and it was pretty good. Let me see if I can focus in here um, on the knife. It is AUS-8 steel, Ontario Rat 1. Um, I don't have any of the specifics on this knife, but it does have a liner lock. Um, it is for tip down carry right now, which I would change that to tip up, but I honestly don't think I would carry this knife. This is a little too large for me. I like smaller EDC knives. Uh, I believe this is a G10 type uh, handle here. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's got a little uh, um, thumb studs on both sides and a little jimping here on the thumb, a thumb ramp little jimping here so it's good grip it's a larger knife for a big hand and uh, fits my hand well so uh, I'm glad I picked this one up um, and 
hope to uh, do a little bit more cutting with it. Like I said, I just brushed it out of goose with it, and uh, it did a good job. Um, you know, but it, it was real sharp out of the box too. So um, nice little knife. Um, it's probably going in my bug out bag though. I probably will not carry this. And I've never had a right in the rain pad before, and so I just wanted to pick one of these up. And uh, this this is uh, also going in the bug out bag. Sorry about the lighting here, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's uh, something I uh, wanted to pick up. And uh, it's got some measurement conversions in there. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty uh, durable little book. So I think it would be nice to have in the bug out bag. And then the last item that I picked up uh, is, uh, sorry about that, the Ambient Weather uh, makes this. And this is the WR... 111B Adventurer Emergency Radio and I like this little guy um, because of the size and um, it does have AC power that you can plug into it does have the hand crank and it does have a solar panel on it and uh, has the NOAA channels, the weather bands um, and the other thing I liked about this guy um, not only the size um, I like that it is digital, um, so it's not the analog tuning, so, <clears throat> and it's got a backlight on it, yeah, so, if I wanted to tune this, so I can tune it, you know, with the weather bands, and then the modes, Kristen, please stay. So Mom, I can, please get off the phone. Tune all this uh, digitally, where I'm not moving a knob. So if I know certain channels in, the, in my area that's, that should work, then I can tune to those channels and hopefully get some reception with that. So I did like that digital tuning part of it. Um, and volume is pretty high. There we go, a little uh, Michael Jackson for you. Um, so, yeah, I did, I like the backlight part of it. I like that it's uh, the digital tuning part. Now, there is a, something in the packaging that says that this solar panel will not charge this battery if it's totally dead, which isn't an issue because it does have a crank on it. Um, so, as long as you have the crank feature and you can crank this, uh, you can crank this enough keep hitting my tripod guy sorry and I can crank this uh, to get the battery up enough uh, then I could once I get the battery charged enough I could leave it out in the solar and sustain that battery I assume it does have a very uh, cheap LED light in it but you know um, it's really for the radio is why I made an investment in this I believe uh, in the box there is a charger and I think there's um, cell phone adapters where you're supposed to be able to charge your cell phone um, that's something that I'm not really interested in I have other means of doing that um, <clears throat> with a solar panel uh, and it's called a solid deck but yeah this is the uh, this is the paper that came with it so I just want to let everybody know um, that uh, you can plug this in and then on the back it talks about uh, I thought this thing oh this talks about pulling the battery tab out when you first get it um, I thought there was something that said something about the solar um, the solar collector will not fully charge the battery yeah it says it on the bottom here so you know that was kind of a bummer to me um, but with the hand crank function I think that uh, it'll be fine so um, and there is a manual inside of here um, but you know this thing's pretty simple it's not that difficult to operate and then I haven't even opened the charger yet but there is a charging adapter in here uh, so that you can wall charge and 
different adapters for different cell phones, which, like I said, I wouldn't be using that for anyway. So, just wanted to do a little unboxing video of some stuff that I picked up, guys. And, uh, again, I'm really kind of curious about the <clears throat> mess kit as far as stainless steel versus aluminum. If anybody has any comments on that, I would be really curious. Um, and, again, for the price point of the mess kit, I, I don't remember what I paid for this, but I want to say it's around 25 bucks, maybe. Maybe it was less than that. So, I mean, that was kind of the price point I was going for. But uh, stainless steel versus aluminum, let me know. Also, if you've read the book, When All, Hell's, when All Hell Breaks Loose, let me know your thoughts on that. If you own the Ontario Rat 1, any comments on that or anything that you guys see in this video that you own or you know someone that owns, um, I'd just be curious of uh, any comments that you guys have. So, thanks a lot for uh, clicking on the video. And as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail.